folks, this is uh, Bubba again with another edition of Georgia Ghost Towns. We're here today over in Wilkes County and we're in an old town of Danburg, Georgia. That's right, another ghost town. This is the ghost town of Danburg, Georgia. And there's not much here. There's still people that live here, but as far as business-wise, again, this is a dead town. There's a couple old grocery stores there. That's <laughs> no longer open. You can come on down through here. Downtown Danburg. That old beautiful old house. And we're going to pull over right here. Walk this a little bit here. Another old grocery store here. Down here downtown Danburg, Georgia. Old dumpsters in the back. Got another old store there. All closed down, folks. Beautiful old house down there. I'm going over here to this marker and see what this old marker says here. This old monument here says in the honor of the black citizens of the village and trapped and voluntarily in a system of servitude until 1865 they were the Thereafter entangled with the white citizens in a system of cotton tenant farming that exploited both through 1945 for the advantage of northern industrial capitalism. Both bondages were borne by the black citizen with incredible fortitude, patience, and humor. humor. Here on this market also says in memory of the Loyalists of 1776. Loyal to the triple agents of the British Crown, British Constitution, and the Church of England violence, and inevitably forced them to either take up defense arms, faint heartedly join the revolutionary cause, or depart. Thus perished the grand design of a united British North America. The victorious have been recognized, let the worthy vanquished be inequitably honored. Besides, it says, in the memory of Annette Bellum and Confederate leaders, 1800-1865, the honesty and the integrity of their leadership in civil life and courage and endurance of their leadership in war represent a quality of leadership. And war represent a quality of leadership rarely since equal. An ideal of slavery was undoubtedly unjust. The quality of their public service was superb. And on this side says in memories of the veterans of the 1914-18 war and the 1939-45 war, World War I and World War II. Twice in this century, men from the village went with American contingents to the assistance of Great Britain, our motherland, and her ally France, both engaged in a deadly struggle with Prussian and militarism, Hitlerism, the sacrifices of these countries, which gave us time to arm ourselves and of our men who served leave future generations yet deeply indebted. In memory of the veterans of the 1950-1953 Korean War and the 1965-1973 Vietnam War, our debts to these veterans are equally vast for their sacrifices were too often undervalued by the public at the very time they were being made. This is a monument to all the struggles of this country 
and everything. This tells about the, uh, the settlement of Danburg. The village of Danburg was settled circa somewhere around 1825 by Samuel Dan Forth of Vermont and Massachusetts at the intersection of two important trade routes, the Augusta Road and to North Georgia in Abbeville, South Carolina, Milledgeville, Georgia Road. The original name of the village was Dan Forth Town. Amongst the families settling early in the village was the Andersons, the Danforth, McLeans, Ribs, Shumates, so on and so forth. The memorial to honor the village is erected by the glory of God in memory of Walter Lee Sutton, 1863-1947, by his obedient grandsons. And this is a neat, it's a monument to the war, all the major wars that we fought here in this country and the village of Danburg. So there's just a little bit left here, and there's not much, but this is the old downtown area of Danburg. Get another shot of this store and old house down there, that old store. And folks, that's about all there is here to Danburg. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below and share if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the Jewish Redneck Prepper YouTube channel. This is Bubba saying Shalom and enjoy the journey.